Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and finally after a long time Venus is out of some crazy positions and crazy con conjunctions in the sky and finally Venus is now relieved. So let us discuss this transit in short which is a very important transit because this transit will help us to reflect back on things that left us or the things that we left or the people that left us or the people that we left in this journey from the last two months almost all right so as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it below and if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit or any other area please go down to the description section of my videos to find my website and yes, God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. So what happened? Sometime or long time back, Venus had entered Libra and then it had entered Scorpio. And then it entered the craziest sign of Sagittarius. <laughs> well, Sagittarius is the original ninth half ninth sign of uh, the multricon sign of jupiter how in the universe can it be a crazy sign well it is not but <laughs> still currently you know there are the very uh, very serious transits happening there in sagittarius and on 25th 24th we are having the eclipse also and i had made a video on uh, what will happen if six planets are there in sagittarius so that video uh, got the highest number of views and maybe in another two or three days it will reach 100k views and that's the first video on exotic astrology to reach 100k views which is very unexpected because i didn't upload it with any motive like that <laughs> well therefore now finally venus it had crossed the gandanta zone from scorpio to sagittarius the last degree of scorpio and the first degree of sagittarius is the gandanta zone where a lot of energies are fading away and new energies are coming and also the planets like saturn was already there then jupiter had also entered november 5th this year 2019 and ketu had already been doing all the spiritual awakening since a long time. So therefore, Sagittarius had been a very awakening journey, this transit of Venus. And I know many people who had told me that 11th of December, they felt that there was too much stress, there was a lot of difficulties and there were a lot of upheavals and so many things that happened around 10th or 11th of december why why that happened well of course saturn was very close to venus that time venus was almost conjunct saturn on 10th and 11th and on 11th finally it had departed 11th or 12th around those dates but still till today it was in the sign of sagittarius uh I'm recording this video on 15th, all right, 15 December. And today it has entered the sign of Capricorn. And finally, it had entered Uttarashada fourth pada inside Sagittarius, and then it entered the second pada of Uttarashada today. So, what happens when a planet crosses Scorpio and enters Sagittarius? Well, Scorpio is the sign of transformation because it's the original eighth house of the zodiac. It's the eighth sign actually not eighth house sorry and this sign is filled with a lot of energies which expose our weaknesses scorpio is the sign of weakness that does not mean that any planet sitting in scorpio will give you weakness but any planet sitting in scorpio can show your weakness all right that does not mean that you will be uh, weak or you will have bad experiences with that planet but any planet which is in Scorpio will definitely show some things which we have not mastered within ourselves, which we need to master in this lifetime, which we need to master at any cost. So therefore, 
depending on the houses which uh, venus rules in your chart as per your ascendant again not moon sign sun sign any sign it's your lagna sign ascendant sign all right depending on that whichever sign uh, whichever house venus rules in your chart because venus rules two houses because it rules libra and taurus respectively libra is the moon trigon sign and taurus is the own sign so therefore whichever houses venus rules in your chart by default depending on your ascendant those houses could have experienced a sense of weakness and some vulnerability at some point when venus had been in scorpio almost uh, one and a half months back that time and as it was approaching the garnanta zone you would have seen that much more of the weakness was getting revealed and to some extent we were trying to hide the things which uh, uh, which we do not want others to see you know but at the end the, those things are now gone the garnanta zone is over a long back and then venus had been conjunct with jupiter in the sign of sagittarius and because the dispositor of sagittarius is jupiter itself and he himself is sitting there in the sign so therefore the conjunction of jupiter venus became more towards the spiritual side and venus uh, venus represents materialistic stuff but when jupiter and venus sits together and when jupiter is more powerful for example if jupiter and venus are situated in sagittarius for example because in sagittarius jupiter is much more powerful than venus because he is in moon trigon right so therefore when these two planets come together in signs where guru has more say jupiter then what happens is it uh, it doesn't mean that we get frustrated materially it simply means that <clears throat> venus tries to think that i indulged in so much pleasure you know in signs like libra scorpio at times virgo also i have seen <laughs> but then what happened at the end <clears throat> i didn't be i didn't become happy i am not happy when will i become happy well when you look towards the divine and when i say divine i don't mean uh, some people say the oh, old look inside you will find something inside no there's nothing inside you won't find it inside when we say inside we refer to the shloka of bhagavad gita where lord krishna says ishvara sarva bhutanam riddeshe arjuna tishthati that i am situated in every living being's heart god is there with you <laughs> so <clears throat> so when we say we look inside it doesn't mean that we look inside ourselves we look inside to see where krishna is you know we start doing spiritual practices and unless we do that we do not find fulfillment we do not find happiness we do not find joy at the end and therefore many people had told me that uh, they had started reading the bhagavad gita from last one month i got so many mails and the shrimad bhagavatam also uh, after seeing my videos uh, the, the two playlists which i upload on every monday and thursdays so if you have not watched that please watch and uh, i'm i was very happy and i'm still very happy to see those mails and i hope to keep seeing such mails always <laughs> so venus and jupiter conjunct in sagittarius gave us a flavor of trying to find happiness beyond matter which is very important which venus doesn't like because venus is the planet of this realm you know he just wants to indulge indulge and suck out some pleasure from objects and primarily the opposite sex because venus represents the opposite sex nowadays it can represent the same sex also so therefore venus gets frustrated in sagittarius but the end result is beautiful because the dispositor of the sagittarius which is jupiter is sitting with venus and during this conjunction what happens although we know that we should look beyond but we become very optimistic because jupiter is a planet of optimism so although we are frustrated materially but we still feel that there's something better so that gives us a sense of optimism and then venus was conjunct ketu so imagine you are with jupiter with all the positivity about spirituality and you know divinity and all this and then you cross ketu 
you know this is like saying ketu is almost about to enter mula nakshatra almost around those the last degrees of mula nakshatra or you know the beginning part of purva shada ketu is in so therefore you know when venus and ketu were conjunct we got a sense that the houses which venus rules in which are they got a flavor of confusion this always happens when any planet comes together with ketu but because as i said ketu is also exalted in sagittarius that confusion made us more spiritual and we tried to see things the way which we never ever would have tried to see even but right? so that was a fantastic conjunction because of the presence of jupiter and finally venus was conjunct saturn on around 11 12 10 10th these three days very close conjunction december and that was the time when we felt this con- this uh, you know, the the ability to uh, realize that nothing is in our control you know things are beyond our control most of the things in this world are beyond our control right and that also helped us to look towards uh, god more because jupiter gave us optimism ketu gave us confusion and saturn gave us a feeling of helplessness saturn is helplessness saturn is Saturn is that feeling. I can't do it. <laughs> It's over. I'm done. You know that's the feeling of Saturn, you know. Or you feel sometimes, ah, when in the universe will this get over? You know, kab khatam hoga ye. <laughs> so Saturn gave us that feeling. So this was a very beautiful conjunction, and finally now Venus is out of Sagittarius. It has entered Capricorn, and therefore now it is. trying to celebrate celebrate not by getting back to materialistic pleasure and things like libra and scorpio you know, for uh, for example you know um, having wine or you know eating meat or roaming around with the opposite sex that's not how we celebrate we celebrate by keeping our commitments to our spiritual path which many of us had taken during the last 30 45 days either willingly or reluctantly or helplessly either ways we had taken so many commitments so now is the time that we follow and we also relax and we realize that the world is a difficult place but the shelter of god is always there provided we look towards him all right so just you know sometimes people just think that you know just by uh, writing some affirmation like you know be positive things will be good things will be great good things will come you know or by reading motivational books or by listening to motivational speeches or speakers you know people think that uh they will remain positive well that gives some level of positivity but that's temporary you know today morning you are positive to go today night you are again depressed real positivity ultimate positivity will only come when you realize the fact that krishna is there with you god is there with you because krishna says ishwara sarva bhutanam riddeshe arjuna tishtati and we can see the example of arjuna perfectly so many odds so many challenges the pandavas headed by yudhishthira maharaj and draupadi kunti so many challenges so many odds but at the end they were victorious <laughs> and they achieved the ultimate perfection of life when they obtained uh, krishna's uh, shelter finally and of course they were they are great paramhamsas you know they are great personalities they are not ordinary personalities they uh, so many uh, wrong things happened with them so many injustices you know nowadays any small injustice happens and people keep accusing each other oh he did injustice to me i won't spare him you know she did like this i won't spare her you know but imagine if uh, yudhishthira maharaj or arjuna or bhim or nakul sahadev or draupadi or kunti you know if these personalities you know started to blame people you know then how many and who would remain <laughs> but anyways they never blamed anybody because and that is what makes them them <laughs> that is why they are uh, great personalities you know bhishma pitama also and so many characters in the shrimad bhagavatam we have the example of uh, amrish maharaj also we have the example of chitraketu maharaj we have the example of so many personalities bharat maharaj dhruva maharaj you know prithu maharaj all these great personalities so they also exemplify the 
quality of tolerance and forgiveness and they also do not keep grudges against anybody all right and therefore we should learn from these characters and try to uplift our consciousness and now as venus has entered capricorn we should try to maintain the things that we did during these last 45 days <laughs> All right, so let us not force life to teach us lessons the hard way. We have already learned so many lessons the hard way, but let us now try to learn the lessons better and try to not repeat the mistakes the next time. All right, so this is a very beautiful transit of Venus. Finally, it is out of all the confusion and all the craziness. And now is the time to celebrate by continuing our spiritual practices and getting together with people and delighting in the divine all right thank you very much for your patience and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it and if you want a consultation from me please go down to the description section of my videos to find the link to my website and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him thank you very much